Maria here from Etched Actuarial, and if you are like most aspiring actuaries, you want to know everything you possibly can, and you want to do everything you possibly can to make sure that you are the best possible candidate that you can be when you start applying for entry-level actuarial positions. Well, you are in luck because I am showing you exactly what you need to do in order to make sure that you are in demand by the time you start applying for actuarial positions. And that means that you have all the skills, all the qualifications, and everything like that that employers are looking for in entry-level actuarial candidates. The better candidate you are, the quicker and easier it will be for you to get a job. So that is why today I am introducing you to the Actuary Accelerator Plan. This is a step-by-step -step plan that will help you rise above the competition. It makes sure that you're doing everything that you need to be now early on in your actuarial journey so that when you do start applying for actuarial jobs, you already have all the skills, all the qualifications, and the experience that actuarial employers really value. The Actuary Accelerator Plan is part of my Actuary Accelerator community where I help people, aspiring actuaries, just like you, to have a straightforward path to becoming an actuary and getting that first full-time job. That's what the Actuary Accelerator community is all about. But I am spoiling some things for you today because I'm going to give you my plan that helps aspiring actuaries get into actuarial jobs. Okay, so are you ready? Oh, and I forgot to let you know, I'm actually going to be giving away one month for free to everyone watching this video at the end of today's video. So make sure you stick around to the end to find out how you can get access to the whole Actuary Accelerator community. You get access to this roadmap that I'm going to show you right now. Plus you get access to me, our members only WhatsApp group, and tons and tons of resources to help you develop the skills that you need to become an actuary. So now we are inside the Actuary Accelerator community and we're going to go down to the Actuary Accelerator plan. Now there are five main phases that you'll see here in the Actuary Accelerator journey or the plan. First is a beginner candidate and this is someone that's just trying to figure out whether the actuarial career is right for them. Once they've actually decided that it is a good fit for them, then they move on to the rising candidate phase. Now the rising candidate phase is where you're going to focus on your technical skills, especially Excel, and you're going to find a stepping stone position. Now in last week's video, if you didn't already watch it, I recorded a whole video about stepping stone positions, so make sure you go and watch that. Or if you just want to come into the actuary Accelerator community, you will also get access to tons of information about stepping stone jobs, and we'll talk more about that here today too. Next is the intermediate candidate phase. This is where you start passing your actuarial exams. Notice that there are tons of things that you actually have to do before you even start studying for an exam. And this is where you start to get more comfortable with actuarial concepts and that kind of thing. As you progress even further in the plan, you're going to become a top actuarial candidate and you will have passed two to three actuarial exams exams. You've probably got some related experience in the actuarial field or something similar. And then you move on to entry-level actuary. That's when you finally get your first full-time entry-level job. So today we're going to go through these five phases and I'm going to show you the steps that are involved in each of these phases. So if we just move down here, you'll see that there's a button to go to the Get Beginner Candidate Resources. And this is going to take us to where all the beginner resources are. We're in the beginner candidate phase. And now there's modules in here that you can go through. And these modules are like individual steps that you can complete. And as you complete each step, you're going to be better prepared and a better candidate for actuarial positions. So like I said, in the beginner phase of your actuarial journey, you're just learning about whether the actuarial career is really right for you. Now, one of the best ways to do that is to watch videos about other people talking about their experience as actuaries. So here I've compiled a bunch of different videos from entry-level actuaries and even some full-time actuaries where they talk about their experience and my experiences are in there too. And basically we just go through some of the different things that we encounter day to day so that you know what to expect in the actuarial career and that will give you a better idea of whether this is the right career for you. Then as you keep on going down further, once you've completed module one, you move on to the next step, which is module two. You learn the steps to become an actuary. Now becoming a fully qualified actuary takes a lot more work than what I'm talking about in this specific video. This video is going to help you get your first full-time job, but to become fully qualified, 
qualified, there are other requirements that you have to meet. So it's really important that you understand that too. And that's all explained here in this step. So if you are completing this on your own, it's really important that you do understand all the things that you're going to need to do in order to become fully qualified. As we move on, it's important for you to get your questions answered. So the third step here is to get answers to your actuarial questions. We have tons of videos in here, which you can get access to that talk about many different questions that aspiring actuaries have. I actually host regular Q&A sessions where you can come and ask questions and I've recorded them all and put them in here for you to watch. We have tons and tons of answers to actuarial questions in there. So I'd love for you to check that out. And that is step three of your actuarial accelerator plan. Once you've completed that, you have completed the beginner candidate phase. This will help you figure out if the actuarial career really is right for you. And if it is, you can move on to the next phase, which is the rising candidate phase. Now, as we move on to the rising candidate phase of your actuarial journey, there are more steps to complete. First is you're going to need to become an Excel ninja. Excel is so, so, so important when you want to become an actuary because you're going to use it every single day. I'm going to link right above to a video where I talk about the two technical skills that you really need to know, and Excel is definitely one of them. So you can go ahead and watch that. But once you've completed the beginner phase, you're going to move right into learning Excel. In the Actuary Accelerator community, there are lots of resources here to help you learn Excel, everything you'll need to know to become a really good actuarial candidate. Then you're going to move on to learning about stepping stone positions. Like I said in last week's video, I talked all about stepping stone jobs. So this gives you more insight into what stepping stone jobs are and why they're important, all that kind of stuff. Really, just to sum it up, a stepping stone job is going to give you experience that's related to the actuarial career. So it's really going to help you increase your chances of getting a job. It's going to give you the experience and skills that employers are looking for, but you can do that without working in an actuarial position. So these stepping stone positions are really, really valuable and I highly recommend you work on getting one. Next, once you've learned about stepping stone positions, you're going to work on your resume. Oh, and by the way, we have tons of information in the Actuary Accelerator community all about stepping stone positions. So once you've learned about about those, it's time to start creating your resume because you're going to need a really good resume when you start applying to stepping stone positions. The better your resume is and the more you stand out, the higher your chances are of getting a really good stepping stone job. It's just a matter of fact that some stepping stone jobs are better than others. So the better your resume is, the higher chance you have of getting one of those really good stepping stone jobs. Once you've completed that step, it's time to move on to getting your stepping stone position and that means you have to start applying online to positions that are open. Once you've finally got your stepping stone position, you have completed the intermediate phase of your actuarial journey and you can move on to the next phase, which is the intermediate phase of your journey. Now in the intermediate candidate phase, you're going to find that you actually start studying for your exam, your first exam. So that is step one of the intermediate phase is you start studying and pass your first actuarial exam. Now in here, we have tons of information about how to pass actuarial exams. I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people on their journey to passing their first actuarial exam. So I have tons of information in here to help you through that stage of your actuarial journey. But that is the next stage step is passing that exam. From there, you're going to move on and complete a project in Excel. Now, you may have heard me say in the past that just knowing how to use Excel isn't good enough. You actually have to prove that you have those skills and completing a project is really going to help you develop your skills even further than what you've learned in a course. So I highly recommend that after you've passed an exam, you start working on an Excel project that is going to enhance your Excel skills and make you really really, really good at them. From there, it's time to get familiar with actuarial concepts. When you go into actuarial interviews and you start working in an actuarial career, you need to know actuarial concepts. So there are tons of different things that you can learn about in the Actuary Accelerator community. There's information on long-term care insurance, types of insurance, predictive models, uh, cyber insurance, and so much more in here. And I often add to this as well. So these are concepts that you are going to need to know to make sure that you stand out to actuarial employees 
employers. And now in this phase of your actuarial journey is a good time to start learning those things. From there, you're going to update your resume because by this time you have passed an exam, you've hopefully got some experience in a stepping stone position. And just overall, you're a much better candidate than you were when you last updated your resume. Now you're starting to update your resume for an actuarial position. Whereas before you were working on a resume for a stepping stone position. From there, you've graduated from the intermediate phase of your actuarial journey. You've done everything you possibly can up to this point to make sure that when you do start applying for actuarial jobs, you are a really, really top in demand candidate. Okay, so from here, you're going to move on to the top candidate phase of your actuarial journey. Now in this phase is when things start to get even more serious and you start to get closer to an actuarial job. Part one or step one of this phase, you're going to maximize your stepping stone position. And there are many things that you can start doing in your stepping stone position that will help make you a better candidate for actuarial positions. These may be things that you weren't even thinking about before, but if you can start incorporating them into your stepping stone position, it's going to help make you more valuable to actuarial employees employers. So this is a really important phase or step in your actuarial journey. Once you're through that, it's time to pass more actuarial exams. It's difficult to get a job with just one exam passed. So you want to make sure you've passed two or three actuarial exams by the time you start applying for actuarial positions. In this step of your actuarial journey, you learn more about passing actuarial exams and you get through at least two more exams to make sure that you are a top candidate when you start applying for actuarial positions. From there, we move on to preparing for your interviews. Around the time when you're going to start applying for actuarial jobs and when you get your interviews, you're going to need to know how to respond to questions. You're going to need to practice your interview skills. So this section is all about preparing for success in your interviews. This is the last step in your journey to becoming an actuarial candidate because once you prepare for interviews, hopefully you're going to get that job and then you will be an entry level actuary and I am so, so excited to see your journey go through all these different phases and you actually get that job. All this hard work really, really does pay off. Now I said I would let you know how you can get one month for free in the Actuary Accelerator community so that you can start working through each of these modules that I've already set up for you. By all means, if you want to do these phases and go through the steps by yourself, that's totally fine. But I've been through this process before. I've helped hundreds of others go through it as well. So I think there's a lot of valuable insight you can get from joining the Actuary Accelerator community. Plus you get access to me in our WhatsApp group. You get access to to all the other members that are working away through these steps as well. And you get so many resources that are going to be beneficial for you. So I do think it's very beneficial for you to join the Actuary Accelerator community. So I'm going to show you now how you can get one month for free. In the description of this video, I'm going to put a link to the Actuary Accelerator community and it looks just like this. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see a button that says, join the AAC now. If you click that button, then you're going to be taken to a page that looks like this. It tells you a bit more of the details and what you can expect. We are going to send you a reminder email once your first month is up so that you can either cancel if you'd like to, or just so you know that your membership is going to continue on and that payment is going to come out. You can cancel at any time. There's absolutely no obligation to stay. So we'd love to have you at least try it for one month. You can get into our WhatsApp group. You get access to all the resources, everything like that in your free month trial. Once your month is up, it will be $49 per month if you decide to remain a member of the Actuary Accelerator community. And I do want to mention that employers value seeing that you are committed to the actuarial career. When they see that you're in actuarial groups like that, that's really like bonus points. That's brownie points for you because they love to see that you're committed. They love to see that you care, that you're doing everything you possibly can to make sure that you are successful in the actuarial field. Okay, so once you've looked through all that, you can go down to join the community and it's going to bring you to a page where you can put in the coupon code, which is plan. So right here, you'll see that it says have a coupon. If you click that and you put in plan just like that and you click out of it, 
then you're going to see that it automatically applies a discount for you. So you see that you'll get four weeks for free and then it's going to be $49 per month afterwards. Again, you can cancel whenever you'd like. You'll also see that it says your payment is $0 right now. And then once you've got all that information put in, you can put in your payment information and then just click become a member and you will get access to everything that I showed you in today's video. I would love to have you become a member of the Actuary Accelerator community. There is so much that you can be doing that you may not even know right now that's going to help you become an in-demand actuarial candidate. And the more you can do now, the better off you are going to be later when you start applying for actuarial jobs. Okay, that is all for today video. I hope it helped and I hope to see you in the Actuary Accelerator community. Bye for now.